is it a scarf or is it half of a sweater? Hi everybody, I'm going to show you how to make a tassel today. I've got three tassels on my juniper shawl, this beautiful Revive yarn. They're such a nice thing to put at the bottom of a shawl. These are nice and plump. I do like a decent tassel on my shawl. Shall we see how it's made? Right, what do you need? You don't need much stuff. Of course you need yarn. I use about, probably about five grams of yarn for each tassel, so I've easily got enough here. You need a sharp pair of dressmaking scissors. Uh, any scissors are fine, but I find these good because they're big and heavy. You need a wool needle. I like one with a blunt tip and a nice big eye so I can get my yarn through it easily. And lastly, you need a piece of card, or I like the pom-pom magazine. It's about 10 inches long, um, and it's that length that we're looking for because that's about twice as tall, just over twice as tall as the pom-pom you're going to make. So bear that in mind when you're choosing your um, card or your magazine to wind around. Start by winding your yarn about 25, at least 25 times around your magazine. I'm going to do 25 today. I think I did a little bit more for those other pom-poms that I showed you. But just wind it around, not too tightly. You don't want your magazine or card to bend under the tension of it. And you'll see in a minute that we're going to take it off. Is it a scarf or is it... And there we go. When you're done, let slip off the end and just straighten up your yarn. So it's easier to get off because you're now going to slide that loop of yarn off the magazine. It's going to be fairly tight. Just carefully slide it off and keep all the pieces together. Even up the tension of them slightly. And just lay them flat on the table. You'll need a piece of yarn about five inches long, five or six, doesn't matter if it's a bit longer than that. This is going to be the bit that you use to tie your tassel to your project, so make it as long as you need. Lay it flat on the table and lie your loop of yarn over it, in about the centre, as close to the centre as you can, and then tie it in a nice tight knot. It's, some, it's a bit tricky to do this on your own, but you don't really need someone else. Pull it tight, hold it with your finger, and tie a knot in your yarn. So this is what you're going to tie your tassel to your project with. And then flip your yarn in half, holding those ends of yarn above the yarn, above the tassel, and the, the loops of yarn go to the bottom. What do you see? Loops of yarn go to the bottom. And that yarn you're going to tie the tassel onto the project with, go above. Just try and make it as straight as you can. It can get a bit fiddly at this stage, but just do your best. You have got opportunities to correct it later. Now you'll need another piece of yarn, about 12 inches long. Could be longer. Uh, and this is what you're going to use to wind around your tassel to make it tight. So start by making a loop of yarn. And you want your loop to face down and the end of the yarn to point upwards. And you want to keep an eye on that end of yarn because you're gonna use it in a minute. Lie it towards the top of your tassel. So this is the part that you're winding around to hold your tassel together. And use the other end of that loop, the long end, keep the short end out of the way, facing upwards. Use the long end to just wind around and around and around. Try and keep the head of your tassel as straight as you can. It's a bit fiddly but you will get an opportunity to straighten it up. You can see I pull and plump on mine to try and do it as I go along. But just pull it nice and firmly as you're winding around and just wind it until it looks secure. It's as thick as you want it. You don't want too few loops, but then again, you don't want heaps either. When you're done, feed the end of your yarn that you are winding down through the loop and the other end of your yarn that you use to make the loop, the one that went upwards Feed those both through the loop and it's the one that went upwards that you're going to pull tight because that secures the whole thing. Just get them straight and pull it nice and tight and your winding is secured. Now's a good opportunity to have a little fiddle with your tassel. Does it look straight at the top? Could it be evened up? Give it a squish. I'll push mine up and down a wee bit. Pull on the ends. And with the ends of yarn that you then used from that last long piece that got threaded through, thread them through your darning needle, which is easier said than done. Thread them through your darning needle, feed them up and down through the centre of your tassel, 
and pull them tight. You're going to do it with both legs of yarn. So do it with the other leg as well. Feed it through your needle and up and down through the center of your tassel to hide it away and to keep everything nice and secured. It's not going to come undone. You can spend a bit of time now just straighten up, straightening up that tassel and making it look just a little more even. At the end of the whole process, I steam block my tassels. I actually get my hot iron, fill it with hot water and blow hot steam on it. And this really helps everything settle down. But you can do a lot now just to straighten up the head of the tassel. Now the next step, once you've laid it all out straight, is to snip the ends. And you'll see there's a lot of loops at the end. So I just get my scissors, this is where the heavy big dressmaking scissors are handy, and just snip through all those loops of yarn. Snip through, lots of snips, this is quite fun. You keep digging your scissors in until you find more loops. When you think you've found them all, a few more there. When I think I've found them all, I just straighten up the tassel in my hand and I just give it a little haircut at the bottom. I just trim off all those stray pieces, not too much. Just straighten it up at the bottom to make it nice and tidy. That's it. So there we have it, a nice little tassel, you can keep fiddling away if you like, but there we have a nice little tassel ready to hang on your garment, looks just about like the other one I made before. If you are making lots for one garment or one shawl it's a good idea to use the same size book for every one. Now to feed it onto your shawl you're going to use those ends, thread them onto your needle and then you're going to sew them into the shawl. Now what I like to do is I like to take each of the ends individually, thread them onto the shawl individually, and then tie them in a knot once they're on so that they're on the shawl. And then with the ends, I just feed them away. I weave them away, just like you would with regular ends, into the shawl, through the stitches, away, 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 and they just disappear into the shawl. You won't see them again. As long as it's secured on with that knot first, um, which you won't see, then it will be securely tightened, tied to the bottom of your shawl. Thanks everybody. Good luck. Is it a scar or is it half of a sweat?